back to my uh, tour d'Europe, uh, tour d'Europe, and uh, I want to say that I, I need to make a decision, or well, I'll make it gradually. Maybe how detailed should I get with telling the story of that extreme travel, that extreme experience? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, the, the filming that I did is very detailed. You'll see that, and I may include all of it, because I, that's, what, that's what this video is about, the details that I saw. But should I tell you about the woman from Denmark, the, the travel tour wholesaler that I had a fun discussion with on the flight to, to Copenhagen, or uh, about the, uh, the Swedish man who was a grip for the film industry, uh, returning to Sweden, they had a farm, he's an antique dealer, uh, liked to hunt wild boar. You have, uh, have various discussions. How detailed should I get? I'm not sure. But I do want to talk about support in travel. Um, it is so important. Uh, and uh, as I was thinking about this, you know, when I told you the last part, I, I think you will remember that by the time I got to Copenhagen, and then Hamburg, I thought I would have to go to a hospital. That's how tired and uh, almost sick I was. But, uh, but Shirley was there for me. Well, that reminded me, uh, back uh, more than 20 years ago, my daughter, Erica, she was maybe 16, she went to Brazil as a foreign exchange student. And she was there all year, and gradually through the year I was getting sadder and sadder. And my family, as a birthday uh, present, got together, my mom and dad, sisters, contributed money and bought me a ticket so I could, round trip ticket so I could go see her. Uh, and it was wonderful. Uh, but, I, but it was extreme. I, I got on a bus in the middle of the night from near Bedford, where I, near where I live, Breezewood actually, took the overnight bus to New York City, and by the time I got there, I was running a fever, I was sick, and I had this travel to do. Well, my cousin met me there. She lived at that time in Manhattan, and she cared for me, and she gave me drugs I'd never had before, like ibuprofen and something else. She seemed to know what to do. I slept a little at her apartment. She got me on the plane to, from New York to Sao Paulo that afternoon, and she healed me. I was okay. I could continue. Uh, from Sao Paulo, uh, I flew on to Belo Horizonte, which is where uh, my daughter was, was living uh, with a family. And there, uh, her host father expected me to party all night, which I did, sort of. I saw the dawn come up. Uh, so, but that was uh, the support. Now, on this trip, Erica supported me extremely. So, as you'll see, she met me in Paris after having said goodbye in uh, in Dulles, she really doesn't speak German, and that's why she left the German part out. And then Shirley. Um, uh, tomorrow, uh, I will say more about Shirley. She was there for me. Uh, and uh, she was not the only one. There's a Latin way to say, et alii and others. Uh, on this trip, there was Pierre, a Swiss man. Chausse, you'll, you'll see him, uh, uh, a Spaniard. Daniel, uh, also a Swiss man, Teresa, uh, Maria Teresa, a, a Spanish woman, they all supported me too. <clears throat> uh, but surely, uh, so much so, and in a sense, she almost rescued me when I got to Hamburg. So tomorrow I'll have more to say about her, uh, but that will do for today.